Alright, once in this video, let us talk about the C1 problem from the latest code forces around A25. Problem name good sub arrays easy version. So let us talk about that. An array B of length M is good if all i the ith element is greater than equal to i. So for all i, the ith element is greater than equal. To I. Let's say if I take any number, it should be greater than equal to i. Like so, in other words, B is good if and only if B of i is greater than i for all i from one to m. Now, what I might thought of like allow that for every index, I just have to check that whether the number is greater than that, and that's it. But no, the overall thing is that for you, what the actual problem is that you are given an array A of n pairs. Find all the pairs of indexes L to R such that A of L to F A of R is good. Now, what the problem changes in this last sentence is that you just have to find out the indexes or like the pairs. Does that for those pairs, if I just extract out that particular sub array from this array B, then that should be a good. Okay? And for that good, for that sub array only, for that particular sub array, it should, it will start from one to three. The actual index in there is not their indexes, but the sub array that I take out for that sub array is good. For that sub array to be good, it will start from one to three. Got it? That's the overall idea that we will. Let's take some examples so that it will become. Let's take the last example. Two, one, four, three. So, two, one. Now, what I'll do is like what I just thought about. Let's say. Let's give them their the starting indexes. Starting indexes is that it will start from one. So, this is one. Now, what you can see is that two is greater than one. It, like it's. But that I can just take this as an like let's say an array that just make of two, it is fine. Just make can I add two and one? So because in that scenario, the in like the index is larger than the number. Okay, the number should always be larger than the index. In that scenario, that is false. Like greater than or equal to. Okay, in that scenario, it is false. So I cannot make that. But I can make one, only one as a perfect, like good array. Now you are asking why? Why? Because it is on index two. No, this is not the problem. I want to extract out arrays from this whole, array, like this whole container array, like bigger array. I want to extract out sub arrays. Such that if I just look at the sub array individually and just mark these indexes, so let's say this index start from one, then this is a good sub array. So obviously this start from one and like this sub array start from one. And uh, uh, again, so this is one also, so it is good because the number is greater than or equal to the number like the index and that is fine. Okay. That's the whole thing. So how we can do such a problem? Like how can we find out? The overall thing is I will be using two pointers because I will be building out a sub array. Okay. Now let us just move on to the solution so that it will become without wasting my time. I hope you understand the logic itself, like the code, like the problem itself. So let's say I'll take one pointer here. Okay. One more information that you have to know is that let's say if I have a good, like I have a complete sub array, uh, let's say of numbers A1, or let's say A1. Now, what you can say is that if I have, let's say, four numbers that are perfectly fine, that are fine, okay, according to me, or let's say the numbers are, let's say, 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's say there is 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, obviously, the, their indexes will be also 1, 2, 3, 4. So this all numbers are good. So how many sub arrays I can form? Obviously, if this is good, what I can do is I can form this. Then from starting from one, I can make let's say four sub arrays. So this two, this three, this. Three. Now starting from two, because it is greater than one, obviously, then all the numbers will also be after that will be greater than one because it is good. So all, so starting from two also like one, two, three. So I can form three. Sub so what I uh, talk about is that starting from every number. Whatever, let's say the, uh, like whatever size of the like array I have, that is the total number of like pairs I can form. So let's say starting from, let's say the first position, like four sub arrays, like four, uh, let's say pairs I can form. So one, two, three, four. So let's say this, this, now this complete pair I can form, this as I can form, this I can form, this I can form. Starting from the first position. Okay. Like if, if I just make the first left bound fix. Now, if I just make the left bound fix on this point, then I can form three positions. 
like three pairs. I hope you get the point. So that's the first observation that you have to do, and that's a very simple. We have all solved that in different problems as well. Thing is that I will first make let's say my index. I will not just make use this as index because this index is vague. Okay, this will change. So I will just use a reference of my different index. Let us let us name it as Z, and let us initialize it with one. So so two is greater than uh, one. So that is fine. Okay, so. I will move my index to two, so this number should be greater than or equal to two, but that is bad. So what what it actually means is that I can form one of the subarrays like this, but I can cannot form subarrays like this. So I have to somehow reduce this subarray size to inculcate or to start afresh. Now if I just start from the very fresh, let's say if I just let's say I build the numbers like this one two three four, and then I, then I start again from one, and then the, and then the number is let's say Four again. Okay. If I just build this as a kite, fine. And if I want to add this number, then it is fine because it should be greater than or equal to five. That is bad. But should I just start a new subarray from here? Cannot, cannot, cannot I just make a subarray like this? Like because if this is one, two, three, four, then it is fine. So what I mean by this is that I should now just shift my indexes from one to one, two, three, four, just one place to the right hand side. So I just have to shift my one this references from one place to the right hand side. So if all the numbers are shifted to just one place, then if this number, this number wants let's say two, and if I shift every position to one place on the right hand side, let's say from this was one two three four five six, and I've just excluded this number, then all the numbers start from this position, so it will be one two three four five six. From what I mean by this is that. I just move my this, so this is let's say some pointer let's say x, and this is some pointer let's say y. As soon as I hit a point that is it is bad, I will just move my x to one place on the right hand side. In that scenario, I I'm just shifting out all these numbers to one position on the right hand side. In that scenario, what actually happens is that this z will decrease by one because let's say it was building one, two, three, four, five. At this particular position, that let's say it becomes equal to five. But now, if it is shifted by one position, now it becomes four at this position because now the number start from one place ahead. So initially it was starting from one, two, three, four, five. But now it is starting from this position, so it will become one, two, three, four, five, and it will become four. So what I'm trying to say is that I will just shift all the numbers for all the indexes to one place on the right hand, and I will keep on shifting such that the current number that I'm on is able to form. Or like is able to inculcate in the subarray that I'm forming. Okay, and then I will just move these two pointers because the, the the left pointer will mark the first number from which I will start my subarray, and the right pointer will mark the one that is able to fit in this subarray. If it is not, I will move my left pointer to the right until it, the the right pointer is able to fit in the subarray that, and then I will just keep on moving the right pointer. So it's just a two pointer approach. And just moving the first pointer so that the 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 first pointer is moving, which is just moving the coordinate numbers accord like relative to this number only, so that the right pointer will inculcate in the subarray and it will just. That's the overall logic for this particular problem. If you still have any doubt, please mention it in the comment box. I will be happy to reply them all because it's not too much difficult to draw it out. I but I hope you get some idea of out of it. I'll just show you the code so that it will become more clear to you. So what I've done is that I have just make the array, insert it all, like take and in, input all the numbers. This is x, y, and z. So x is the left pointer, y is the right pointer, and z is the coordinate. Let's say from which I have to like match out. Okay, the indexes can okay, start from one, and this is the answer, which is the number of pairs I can form. Now, let's say uh, I will just move my right pointer, so y less than n. Okay, just leave this while loop just for a minute, and I will keep on move and just go here. Now, the number of pairs which I formed. As as I've told you, is that if I fix my left pointer to one position, I I I have to see that how much far my right pointer is because that is the number of pairs I can form that I've told you. So let's say my right pointer is let's say ten positions away. So how much pairs I can form? Ten. Okay. So y minus x is the first position because the first position like if I just fix the left pointer, how many pairs I can form? So y minus x plus one. That's the number of pairs I can form. I just add in answer, and then just move my right one position on the right hand side and just also move my coordinate number because. Because I just have to match for the next number, like the coordinate number should, like the indexes should be also incremented. So Z is the increment, index increment, and the Y is the pointer increment. Now let us move down to while. Let's say now at a given point, a 
a certain scenario hit in which my pi is or the number I am on is less than the index. In that scenario, what I'll move? I'll move my left pointer that is x. So x will move x, while x is less than n. It should it will move until the z z is the value that is the index that is on the right pointer. So until z or like the value or the index on the right pointer is greater than the value itself on the value of the right pointer because it should be less. Okay. The index should be less than the value. If the index is larger than the value, larger than the value, what I'll do? I'll move my left pointer to the right hand side. So if to move the left pointer, I'll just move my x plus plus. And when it is moving, it is also moving the coordinates it's with itself or the indexes with itself. So let's say if it just move one place ahead, the one will start from that x. So you just remember that the one number will always start from the left most, and it will start from x. So if it just move one place from the right hand side, it is just carrying forward the index with itself. And thus, if the index is carrying the last index on which the y is, that is decreased, decreased by one number. So z is decreased. Okay, that's the whole thing. So I will keep on doing this until the index on which the right pointer is becomes less than or equal to the value on the right pointer. In that scenario, I'll just break out and then I'll just see again the left pointer expects how much pairs I can form with this valid because now the sub array is valid. Okay, if this is valid, then that is fine. Then I just move again my right pointer and the value of z again keep on changing. And that's just a two pointer approach to solve this problem out and just print out the total pairs that will be formed throughout the solution. That's all the logic and the code part for this particular problem. If you still have any doubts, you can join in the comment box of this video. I will see you in the next one.